Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm the Sage, and today I am not playing Blood Bowl 2. Rather, I'm playing uh, Fumble. Um, so I'm playing uh, in the Hubba League, which is a very, very cool league on Fumble. Uh, I'm playing against uh, Let's Have Fun, who uh, is playing as Dark Elves. And uh, I myself am uh, <coughs> playing as Chaos. So this is the inverse of the matchup. I usually play uh, up on Cyanide, so that's nice. Um, the uh, You might notice that the client looks a lot less uh, clean, uh, or rather, actually more clean, but a lot less uh, graphically intense. Um, so that's what Fumble is. And uh, I'm just briefly going to go into the stream and change the name, since I didn't do that yet. Go. And just get rid of Skype here. Don't want that interfering any. Right. Um, also want to get my chat up on my phone. So I will be right with you guys in just a few seconds. There we go. Which page? Chat. There we are. Hello, guys. Now I can read what you're saying. That helps. Hey, Valenich. So, uh, there is some flicker with uh, streaming from Java. Uh, I think that should mostly be solved once I start playing and stop fiddling around with moving uh, screens. <clears throat> so, as you might also have noticed, um, there's a uh, really nice overlay um, going on here. Uh, this is something Bustahimo uh, made for me, which is uh, really cool. He spent a lot of time fixing this. Um, He's, he's custom made the whole thing in uh, Photoshop and uh, even uh, tailored stuff to my wishes uh, over Skype on his birthday. So uh, if you think, wow, that's a really good job and uh, he deserves some credit, there's a donate button for Bustahimo uh, down below here. <coughs> so um, the, the actual game, um, so these are the uh, Dark Elves. Uh, hi, let's have fun's Highland Lords. We've got an agility movement uh, dodge guard jump up, a dodge tackle with a niggle. Ooh, what was that? A dodge, dodge kick with some injuries, agility 5, dodge sidestep jump up, uh, another agility 5 movement 8 block, strength 4, block dodge tackle, block strip ball sidestep, block sidestep, and block. On my end, we have a bit more players. Um, so these are uh, uh, my 15 guys. We have this guy with Claw. We have Block, uh, Dodge, Diving Tackle. Uh, block, Guard, Mighty Blow, Tackle. Strength 5, Block, Guard, Mighty Blow. Block dodge guard, block dodge sure hands, extra arms, two heads, aka ball carrier, and movement five dodge, block dodge, driving tackle. This is a claw pump. So this league uses some uh, additional rules to make it a uh, uh, to make claw pump less uh, effective, most importantly, if you use piling on um, on an armor roll, you cannot use claw, and if you use piling on on an armor or an injury roll, you cannot use mighty blow. So the kill stack is a lot less effective here, but it's still worth taking. Also, fouls have been uh, buffed, 
So you get a plus one on any file, basically. I'm just marking my players here. Go. Opponent team should do the same. 8, 5, dodge, guard, jump up. So you can already see that this is a... a, a oh, I missed that. Dodge, tackle, niggle. Dodge. Jizzy 5, block, dodge, side step, jump up. Block, dodge, kick. Are you getting these weird flickers a lot? Because it seems worse than it was before. Can someone confirm that? Hmm. Hope I can do something about that in a second. Eight five uh, block runner strength four block dodge tackle a block assassin block sidestep witch and a block sidestep strip law. There we go. That should be all of them. So he's playing 170k up. Well, still, it's not something uh, I want to see. So I'm just going to minimize the um, overlay because I think it has to do with changing focus. Uh, briefly, going to see how the game capture properties are and how the uh, video properties are. Yeah, it should go right. <clears throat> So I, I won't move stuff around after this, and hopefully uh, that will help against the flicker thing. Right, so he's playing 170k up, which means he can get a wizard. Not sure whether he will, um, but let's find out. There, all set. Are you in the stream? Uh, let me get my sound plan on. So one pretty cool thing is um, I told the guy who made the, my uh, soundboard that I would like um, that I'm I'm a bit uh, disappointed that I cannot use the uh, number keys and the text key and type at the same time. And then he said, "Well, that's actually something we have in the next version. So here you can have the uh, the uh, you can enter the closed beta." and uh, get it for me, which means uh, next stream I'll probably have a lot more sounds uh, for you guys. So I'd also like to ask you to come up with uh, good suggestions for uh, what new sounds to add, uh, because I'll gladly expand my repertoire, if you will. Right, um, so I get to set up. Let's see. One tackle. Two tackle. Mm, one guard is also a tackler. Does this work? Yeah. <clears throat> Let me think. I think front and center might be better. Dodge guard. Yes. Right here, right there. What am I leaving out? This I'm leaving out. Mm. Yeah, this looks all right. So please also let me know uh, whether the uh, audio levels seem all right to you guys, just as a test. I think the, the game sounds could be a bit louder. So this is nice because now I don't have to chat to, uh, to Let's Have Fun directly because he can hear me speak. Uh, although that does mean that the uh, that the fumble uh, spectators will miss out, of course. It's kind of weird you ha you being able to see my face as we're playing, isn't it? Although actually, I kind of like the idea also of having more. 
uh, contact with your opponent. So as you can see, my setup has uh, discouraged Let's Have Fun from blocking my line of scrimmage guys. He's uh, setting up in such a way that he can make a stab and a block here, but not bothering to really try and get them all down, which is what I would do with this setup. Um, because it's just too hard to really uh, commit all your players to that. <clears throat> so basically by, by stuffing all my really good players down the center here, I am leaving the sides open, but, but I'm also preventing him from knocking down my best players. Right, do I have a kick somewhere? I don't, do I? So the ball is here. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not typing is something I'm uh, not exactly accustomed to. So uh, let's have fun. Uh, let's have fun, I say. But you never heard that one before. Can't touch this. Oh wow, that's a good stab. Welcome, Unit. Uh, are you guys seeing the chat? You're not, are you? That's interesting. Mm. Oh, yeah, you are. Just uh, has a, a uh, Interval after which it removes it. Okay, that's good. So for some reason it seems like I don't have a frenzy on this team. Which, if you know me from Cyanide, must really surprise you. Right, so apparently I I had a uh, a setting where the uh, the chat would fade out over time. Um... I could fix that, but honestly, it's not that important. I thought it would be nice initially. I've come to the realization I don't really like it that much. So yes, Twitch is eating messages. That's right. So I'm really happy with this overlay that uh, Bustahimo made for me. So this is just the fumble adaptation. Uh, for the Cyanite one, this uh, board on the right here, or this board on the right there, uh, will not be present. And um, we'll just uh, uh, have the game fill out towards the right. But I think it looks really cool. Right, so let's see. Suppose we do this. One. We do that. Sensible. This is why Minotaur suck. I still don't believe in stab, even though I've just seen it used. Push me, and then just hurt me. Well, that was interesting. Uh, no one down. Mm. So what happens? You certainly have the agility to, for this game. You also have a couple of strength, or one strength at least, in a guard. <clears throat> How automated is fumble? Uh, could you elaborate on that question just a bit, uh, uh, Journal? So if I click a guy and I say where he goes, he will automatically route me in a way that doesn't use dodges. Um, obviously all the die rolls are made automatically. It's a lot quicker, that's for sure. 
That's mostly because the interface doesn't bother you with all kinds of animation stuff. Right, so if I click my player and uh, uh, I see a block result, I get to pick manually what die result I want. Oh, that's a damn lucky power. Quite relevant. Oh, another KO. Whoa, well, looks like an easy score then. Now the question is, how do I hang on to the ball on the next drive? Oh, okay. Yeah, you can solve this out for a bit. Sure. Turnabout's fair play, huh? Whoops. Sorry about that. You weren't using that, were you? Let's see. So I don't have the tackle this turn. Do I have someone to blitz? He's got strength 4, so 5, 6, eight, 9, nope. 2, 3, 4, 5. That's a go, which is not ideal. Mm. There we go. There we go. I'm just going to try it anyway. See how that goes. Yay, go monitored. That's a nice punch there. So if it looks like I'm clicking a different square, um, then where you see the result, uh, that's because of some twitch. Oh, it's really off now. That's weird. So I'm really clicking, so my mouse is now over the line of scrimmage. I'm just going to hide the mouse in uh, uh, OBS because you can see where I'm clicking anyway. You cannot actually, uh, journal. Now you cannot see the mouse, but you can see where I'm selecting, which is actually clearer, since the mouse was off. Well, congratulations, you got your touchdown. Uh, although, in the end, the punches weren't that good for you. Because all your blocks that were went well were KOs, and mine quickly went to casualties. That's a that's a big advantage for me. <clears throat> so no wizard. That's of course a big deal as well. You're basically going on the defensive. Hmm. Yes, the two turn touchdown with elves is definitely the easy part. So that's true. A turn 8 touchdown is much harder to get than a turn 2 touchdown, I think, with Alice. We've got two sidesteppers, which is uh, good for you. Let's see, what do we have? Um, a dedicated ball carrier. Let's make him carry the ball. And we've got a tackler who can bother a dodger. So I might want to just use this guy because he wants to follow up and everything. I'm not sure I want to follow up if I fail to hurt these guys. Suppose I roll a quick snap, I will want to take advantage of that using... Do I have another attack or I do not? 
Russell then, I think. Definitely this guy. Mm. I should do something. No more mighty blow here. We've got one diving tackle uh, down here, then the other one should be somewhere up there. Uh, which leaves me with one more guy. I should just put them back a little. Just to be a bit more conservative. Hey, welcome, Baduk. Uh, good to see you. Nice. Yeah, I can I can see that, Velenich. Uh, thanks. The the um, uh, it's still something of a work in progress. So the uh, the sage down down bottom right uh, is a color that we probably want to be, bring back into the uh, blood bowl thing. Um, the thing is that the uh, the fonts this the uh, <clears throat> those whites are output by uh, Twitch alerts, whereas the um, the others are custom made in Photoshop, so I have to see what, how extensive I can get in uh, in Twitch alerts, basically. Yeah, this looks alright. Oh, miss. Yes. Perfect defense. Well, that could have been worse. Pizza Blitz. And at least I have all the squares covered, so he can't really get away. I mean, he can mark less dangerous players than these guys. So let's see what will we do in here. It's this guy. I'll show because you know niggles. Niggles are fun. Niggles are your friend. Here. So now that we've got that taken care of, let's go this way. He needs two assists to be too relevant here. Do I need this guy here? Yeah, I kind of do. Make some friends there. Just for security at one guard here, and then, of course, here or there. Hmm, 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 hmm. I like it here. That's a nice foul. <clears throat> Niggle didn't make a difference because of. Huh. If I had gone in the other. In the other uh, square, I could have gotten him, I think, because there's a rule about unassisted files getting an extra plus one. My bad. You hear that, Baduk? You're listening? I definitely like to introduce uh, spectator comments, actually, Baduk. Um, and I think uh, it's possible actually where you provide comments in the uh, so this um, <clears throat> the chat on uh, Twitch is actually run on IRC so I think we can just add uh, commands that go from a bot to my output somewhere and then actually get fed into the stream so that you guys can provide comments <clears throat> like cheer and boo and ah and etc. But we do have some other ones.
For instance, if this witch elf doesn't want to budge. So to those of you who are just tuning in, um, this is me playing uh, Fumble, uh, which is also Blood Bowl, but with a, a client that is focused a lot more on uh, actually representing the game as effectively as possible, rather than looking as pretty as possible. Um, I find that I make a lot fewer mistakes with this uh, client, um, but then this is also what I'm used to, so I might be slightly biased. <coughs> Also, you can see uh, I got this uh, brilliant new uh, overlay. It was made uh, custom to me, uh, custom for me, and uh, it was made by Bustahimo. So, if you, uh, he, I think, I think he did a great job. If you think he deserves some credit or support for that, I would really appreciate if you hit the donate button below that says uh, support the creator. Um, because he did a fantastic job. He basically volunteered, said, uh, I like your stream, have you considered doing this? And then went and built it. Let's see, where does, do we put the ball now? Yeah, it looks alright. It's a good square. I like that. It does come at the expense of a uh, <clears throat> dirty player, but I can live without that for one turn. So yeah, this numbers game is adding up really, really quickly. Um, my team has uh, my team is basically pretty much a nightmare for dark elves uh, because I've got enough mighty blow tackle to lay on the pain with some dirty player, and I've got enough diving tackle to make it hard to get away. And uh, yes, if I were playing as dark elves and I would run into this team, I would be pretty annoyed. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit about the uh, the league that this is in. The league is called Hubba, and it is a very, very fun league. Uh, Baduk, who's uh, also in the chat here, is the league commissioner, uh, fellow Dutchman, by the way. And um, how the league works is uh, there's 24 races in Blood Bowl. Uh, on Fumble in league, there's a, a 25th, um, which is a bunch of apes. And um, how this league works is it basically says you can have you can have uh, uh, one team of each race in the league. So that leaves you with basically 24 uh, teams potentially. <clears throat> Those are spread across divisions so that uh, the halflings don't have to face uh, the uh, uh, dwarves all the time, basically. Um, but the, the cool thing is because you have 24 teams and they're all different races, you're automatically guaranteed uh, diversity of opponents. My team is by definition the only chaos team in Hubba. And uh, these Highland Lords are the only Dark Elf team in Hubba. So that's, that's really good. And so I figured that having the only Dark Elf team here, uh, it would be pretty cool to uh, deliberately not build them as cloth bone spam. So this cloth armor was pretty late and I really prioritized uh, skills like dodge and diving tackle when I rolled doubles rather than skip them which would be a sensible decision. 
Although by now they have grown pretty, pretty evil. So this guy you see here, those are my uh, team coaches. Um, they're called left and right, and uh, they uh, they are a two-headed chaos warrior. Oh, oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. There. Pretty effective kill dice there. Hmm, yeah, looks good. So these guys have agility 5, which means the lightning tackle is a lot less effective against them. This is good. So this matchup looks pretty damn nasty for uh <clears throat> for let's have fun. It does look like it'll be a quick game though. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so this was dodging through diving tackle tackle zone here. That was a fun bit. Now what? Right, so I can blitz this guy easily. Or this girl with some some potential difficulties. Um Well, even so, those were three four plus dodges, right? But yes, uh, agility five can work wonders. I know. I know. Dare I count on removing her? Three, four, five. Um, well, I feel in control enough to give it a shot. Hmm. Uh, Valenich? No, actually, I plan to uh, stream some Blood Bowl 2 just after this game. At least one. Ooh, that's interesting. So, where does this put me? Got jump up, so that's not too nice. Those I go here. That leaves me safe ish. Uh, wrestle. No wrestle. Hmm. Hmm. If I reroll this, yeah, let's do that. Here we go. Sure, that's okay because I don't need that. Say. Because we still got this guy. That's good enough. I can look at that. <clears throat> Fumble is a lot faster, yes, definitely. Although, to be fair, uh, getting this many players out this fast is also faster. But you can, the thing is, you click something, 
and it happens. You don't have to wait for the player to walk all the way there or for the animations to roll through. Uh, but it's a lot less pretty. So yeah. What to do? Well, that looks good. Effectively, let's pretend you didn't have a turn. This I gotta see. Aww. Four, five, six, let's make it a three die. Ooh. That could have been worse. Get out of my way. Thank you. Oh, haha. <laughs> uh, I was so focused on running it in that I didn't even look at the clock. That was not my last turn. Wow. Okay, you get to have a blocking turn. That was interesting. Uh, yeah, so suppose you OTPD. Yeah, well. Mm. Oh, that's not. Yeah, this is alright. Not kill him, killing him. There, down here. <clears throat> At least I didn't do it. On a different game. Hey, Captain Awesome. Let's not tell. Let's have fun what to do, shall we? Um, so, this is probably more sensible, I guess. Hmm. I guess definitely uh, uh, streaming and playing at the same time does distract me. And now here on Fumble, I could take my time if I wanted, but on Cyanide, you have this two minute turn timer, and that really screws things up even more. Let's see. So we go like this one, two, three pushes, so I can go back here. And here. here. I think this looks pretty uh, tough. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to have to one turn touchdown this. Although, of course, I did just but ah, whatever. Hey, Hanson. So you can label your players by shits clicking them. Yeah, so apparently our league commissioner has made it so that these dark elves will face uh, him right after facing me, which is of course uh, a total and utter... Oh, thank you, Dissel. <laughs> I was just about to get rid of that guy, and then you already did so. Well, at least it's not a riot, because that would really suck. Yeah, shift click is definitely uh, fantastic. It's it's one of the most missing features on uh, 
on cyanide, I'd say. So not bothering with the one turn touchdown actually makes sense. Dodge is holding up pretty well here. Can't touch this. And so now I get a turn. Let's see. This guy's pretty scary. Well, that's in such a way. Yeah. Does it matter? I get a three die then. That can be. So those were the first two shots, and uh, now for the last one. Nope. Alright. Time for the second half. Thanks, I'm glad you like it. I figured I needed some way to, you know, add a bit, add a bit of spice. Uh, you might also like my leap sound. Or the, uh... The winnings one. So, uh, to those of you who are just joining in, um, I got a better version of the uh, soundboard program that I'm using, uh, which will allow me to bind a lot more keys. Uh, so, it will allow me to have a much larger repertoire of sounds to use. <clears throat> so, if you have any suggestions, like, uh, well, I'm really still missing this sound. You, have, you guys had a couple of suggestions before, and I didn't write all of them down, so that was a bit silly of me. So if you have sounds that I'm not using yet, or that you think would be really cool in here, please just drop me a line, and I'll see if I can make it even better. Right, so let's prioritize. Mm, here. Ball carrier, some safety measures. Let's see, I should have four players back here. One of them will be this guy for sure. Yeah, I can live with this. You dislike the sounds, but if you were me, you'd be all over that soundboard. I don't quite get that. The Mario death sound for failed leaps, I like that. I am going to make a note of that right now. Thank you. And also welcome, uh, King of the King. Here we go. Good kick. Interesting. Spices things up a little. One, two, three, four, five, six. Puts me there. So since I'm going to be defending here anyway, might as well do this. Because if stuff goes wrong, I want them there. If stuff doesn't go wrong, I also want them there. So we had a perfect defense. Yeah, I will be playing Blood Bowl 2 afterwards. This perfect defense hurt me a bit more than the last one, I think. But, uh, maybe not. Wrestle, useless there. Let's see, so this guy needs a, needs a friend. So does she really. 
Mm, let's not. <clears throat> that could lead to a big mess two turns from now. But if I put my frenzy next to his witch, uh, and I block it next turn, then that might really lead to some big mess. So, not a lot of result here, but then I have plenty of results first half. So I'm not that worried about that. Mm. Let's grab the ball. So, oh, already moving. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She's got seven, so that's nice. Uh, same logic down here, but further. Nope. Uh, not worth a foul, I'd say. I'll just hang around here with this guy. Here's good. I like it here. Yes, here is nice. So a deep kick like this is always kind of scary against elves. So uh, basically the fact that this could happen is why these guys were uh, in this row in the first place. Because uh, many rookie coaches trying to coach Chaos would um, would go up, would put a lot of players up here and only one guy for the ball here. <clears throat> and then as a result they would uh, get really, really fresh pressured when the ball ends in the back. Uh, I don't really get that many. What do you mean by requests? Like uh, Twitch uh, uh, followers asking for specific games? Um, mostly I just play what I want and then people can watch that, to be honest, uh, Engel. Um, but uh, I do know that I get a lot more viewers when I'm uh, streaming Global 2. A lot of people see this and say, well, what the hell kind of ugly game is that, rather than actually considering <laughs> what it represents. Damn. This guy has been sitting on 74 star player points for a while now, so uh, <laughs> I should really get him going at some point. Mm. So, first priority is just to get the cage. I'm going to go smack in the middle. Good place to be for a Bashi team. I want my guards on the corners. So if you make an X cage and you're playing against like agility five guys, one thing that's that's very important is uh, that uh, you place your guards well. So I, if I were to place my guards say here and here, then I would leave this square without a guarder. But now that they're here and here, uh, and I, if I fill up the cage regularly then there will be uh, garters on all four empty squares, which really helps. Mm, let's see. So we've got this niggle here, he's tempting. We've got this witch, also nice. What's the kill? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think this agility five is probably the best target. Could even do it with the monitored. Close. A little three die action here. Yeah. Guess not. Well, yeah, my uh <clears throat> my dark elves don't have nearly the guard. Oh, you mean our left game? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I can't really look back on that. I, it might well be that I made a mistake like that. Certainly won't rule it out. Uh, this looks uh, pretty conservative, right? He does have an agility 5 here, but...
So I like how uh, uh, Bustahima, when making this uh, uh, overlay, actually said, okay, so what does the sage do? Well, he's really a teacher. So he went with the, the chalkboard uh, background based on that. I, I really like it. Okay, so he now has a guard on the ball. That's interesting. Now what? This guy so needs leap, but he's still quite far away from that. One die follow up. Hmm. So he's already used the uh, uh, dodge reroll. Now there is actually a bug in Fumble where if you use the dodge reroll uh, to make a dodge from diving tackle, uh, the client will still ask you whether you want to use a team reroll, and um, you can do so, which means you can basically have three attempts at the single uh, roll. Uh, but let's have fun already knows that um, doing so will be bug abuse. So he's not going to do that. And I'm waiting for the delay that I know he's heard this. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> We played the same matchup not too long ago, so he, uh, I'm pretty sure it came up then as well. Let's see, if I blitz this guy from this square... I could push her off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, so let's try that. Taking a bit of risk here. Yes, so I push her off, and she can sidestep, but not onto the ball, so that's the idea. Stun turned into KO, effective piling on. So now we have a guard here. Let's add a guard there. Fill out the whole plan again. Um, That's okay, wasn't really counting on it too much to be honest. Uh, dodge with reroll, sure. Nope. 8 out of 9 fail. You can live with that. Yeah, so the overlay, I guess I could rescale it just a bit. This might flicker a bit though. So the game capture could be... I'm just going to move some stuff around slightly, so please don't get alarmed that stuff is moving. I can't reach the game overlays. Here. Get it smaller still. Yeah, bigger again! Getting this just right is uh, the work. How's that? You prefer that? Back to the game then. Yeah, I've been rolling some really good bash dice. <clears throat> Although, 
My last game uh, on Fumble, my uh, Dark Elves got pitch cleared, actually. So if I blitz this, he can go anywhere, but I don't really care. And then I... yeah, this should work. So this is not a problem, per se. Well, this is what Fumble looks like. Except the wooden panels, though, they're just the uh, the stream. And welcome, sir, hasn't it? Uh, no, I don't see any need, because... Let's see... I will need to start moving at some point, I suppose. This is fine. This garter is acted. Let's see if the monitored. Yes, it feels like moving well. Um, I like it here. Here's nice. Here is good. So I guard there. Obviously, this corner is not functional. Four, five, six, seven. I will need one go there. Let's see if Nuffle is willing to grant me that at least. Yes. And another stun, which is really not that bad. <clears throat> so I'm leaving a bit of a hole here. Let me fill that up. Oh, don't talk about what I'm doing when my opponent is listening. So all the agility guys are out of commission. These two. That's that's very helpful. Makes setups like this a lot less scary. Yeah, let's go with this for now. So as you can see, uh, when playing as uh... right, um, I can do that. Cool. Nice to hear. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Uh, what was that just now? Oh, uh, it was a half die. Right. That makes sense. For a moment there, I was like, I saw a pow, but I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, uh, Kenora hosting me definitely uh, helped a lot for uh, visibility. So I'll be doing, um, <clears throat> I'll be doing uh, Bubble 2 again shortly. Let's see. And yes, it was worth a try, of course. Mm. Yeah, that works. There's here. I tend to talk or mumble to myself. This is risky. This is risky. Well, I can live with the power. That's okay. Where is the ideal blitzer? He's there. Okay, the other one. Hmm. So my only tackler is all the way back here. Uh, going north now is not ideal either. So I'm just going to go with this guy. That's okay. When you're hitting blodgers, you're not really counting on pow. When they happen, you're happy, but you're not riding on that result. One, two, three, four, five, six over here, which is fine with me, really. We've got this guy here, this guy here. Then we need some extra security. Um, Whom to foul? I would say this witch needs it the most. That's good foul. <clears throat> Pretty minimalist, but fine. Let's go. Well, the thing is, I'm not just 
uh, uh, actually talking to you guys. I'm also just mumbling to myself, uh, thinking, oh, what am I doing here? <clears throat> it's a very different way of talking, right? If you're talking to an audience, like I'm doing now, um, there's, there's lots of expression going on, uh, both uh, facial gestures and uh, uh, tone of voice. <clears throat> Whereas if you're talking to yourself and mumbling, <laughs> there's very little of that. It's not a communicative action at all. It's just uh, regulating your own thought. I actually gave a two-hour class uh, two weeks ago on talking in front of an audience. So it, that also forced me to think about how this works a lot. Bumble is free, yes. Uh, it's, uh, it's basically donationware. So uh, Chrysler runs all of Bumble uh, from his own home. Uh, so he has all the servers uh, in his house. And um, that means uh, a lot of the uh, regulars on Bumble do actually contribute. I think over the time that I've played Bumble, I've donated... Well, at least 120 euros, I think, maybe more. Wow, this is interesting. But I've still got three turns. This had to fail sometime, right? Uh, so let's see. My only frenzy is here. My only tackle is there. One, two, three. That's not good enough. It really varies a lot. So the talk that I was just talking about for, uh, uh, on how to, t how to speak in front of an audience, that was, uh, 60 students. But I've given, the, the biggest one I've taught was, um, 460 people. Which is intense. It's, uh, quite the experience. Mm. Three, four, five. Could go there, but then who moves ahead? How far does he go? Six. So that's not good enough. Just, no, it's just going to stand up. How much risk dare I take? Can someone remove that? Thank you. This is very, very kind, of course. And that's done really adds a lot to the safety level there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here's all right. Then go there. Then you go here. You go here. You're playing as elves. Of course, there's risk. I've, I've gotten back from situations like this uh, enough to know that it happens, right? No, well, I suspect you're right, but um, I've, I've already seen some pretty crazy dodges. Uh. That could be a bit less loud, I think, still. Let's see, where are you, Leroy? There you are. Let's bring you down a notch. There. Could have to I go blush though. Can't touch this. So I've had two classes that I uh, taught that I teach on my own. 
so that are really my my personal developed uh, class, and those were both uh, 40, uh, 40, I was going to say 40 player, <laughs> 40 student classes. Let's see. You go here, you go here. Thanks, mate. Yeah, you didn't really have that much of a chance. I guess if you really wanted this game, uh, you could have gone with a wizard, but I can see how you might want to just go for self-preservation over that. Yeah, can't blame you, really. One, two, three. Here's all right. Cool, I'm glad you liked it, Paduk. It's quite different from uh, just spectating, right? Especially uh, the fact where you can <clears throat> hear me commentate on everything. So uh, please, both of you, uh, and everyone else of course, uh, do feel free to drop by again. Uh, you can get notifications if you want, uh, including from the uh, the Facebook page. Oh, there we go. So this does leave us with uh, another frame. Thank you. I appreciate it. Cool. Happy to hear it. So before I continue uh, streaming Blood Bowl 2, I will briefly um, adjust the uh, font size for the chat, make it a bit bigger, and make it so that it doesn't fade out over time. Um, so since I want to change the, no, I can actually do that without leaving the stream, I think. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So, um, I was going to say I'll be gone for a bit, but don't go anywhere, but I won't be gone actually. <clears throat> Good. No riot. So that should be good. Good game, man. Oh, I forgot something. Right, so you have these two missing guys, huh? So this, oh, you saw that roll just now, right? Where it said, uh, you've rolled a five. That's how you present winnings rollings. Not, you've got this much, but this is what you rolled. And if it's a three or lower, re-rolling will probably give you higher. If it's a four or higher, re-rolling will, will probably give you less. That's how to present a re-roll for winnings. Right. Um, thanks a lot for playing. Uh, it was a good game, quick, um, pretty harsh on you. Uh, I'll try and add more dodge and less mighty blow uh, in the near future again. Uh, let's have fun. Right. Um, go kill Baduk next time, though. <laughs>